नमस्कार जय श्री राम जय हिंद क्या हाल चाल है आप सब लोगों के एक गैप के बाद ये लाइव हो रहा है इस चैनल के ऊपर और गैप मैंने इसे गैप तो सिर्फ अन्ना का ही गैप नहीं हुआ है कि वो तीन महीने बाद आ रहे हैं मेरा भी हो रहा है कि इट्स बीन ऑलमोस्ट एट नाइन डेज जहाँ पे मैंने कोई लास्ट लाइव सेशन किया हो नाउ वेन वी मेक वीडियोज हम जैसे यूट्यूबर्स जब कोई वीडियो बनाते हैं जब कोई इन्फॉर्मेशन देने की कोशिश करते हैं तो कई लोग उसको काउंटर करते हैं उसके ऊपर फिर काउंटर्स होते हैं फिर दूसरी तरफ से काउंटर होते हैं उन सब चीजों के जो नेरेटिव्स क्रिएट किए जाते हैं उन नेरेटिव्स को भी काउंटर करने के लिए फिर और ज्यादा वीडियोस बनानी पड़ती है बातें करनी पड़ती है समटाइम्स समटाइम्स काउंटर मेजरिंग इतनी ज्यादा होती है कि किसी इंसान के चैनल को ही उड़ा दिया जाता है जैसे कि अन्ना के साथ हुआ नाउ दैट इज समथिंग दैट वी डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट वीडियो अब अन्ना ने गूगल के ऊपर एक केस ठोका है दो करोड़ दो करोड़ रुपए का कॉम्पनसेशन भी मांगा है उसकी डिटेलिंग जो है अन्ना खुद स्क्रीन पे आके शेयर करेंगे बट वॉट आई वॉन्ट यू टू डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सबसे सबसे पहले तो ये कि दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी मेजरली इन इंग्लिश ऐसा नहीं है कि अन्ना को हिंदी नहीं आती बट विल ट्राई टू कीप इट इंग्लिश काइंड ऑफ इंग्लिश मेजर होगा डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में उनके ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म का लिंक दिया हुआ है एक यूट्यूब चैनल का लिंक दिया हुआ है प्लीज गो हेट सपोर्ट हिम जितना ज्यादा हो सके ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोग सब्सक्राइब करें एंड कनेक्ट विथ हिम बिकॉज लास्ट वीडियो में भी मैंने बोला था दिस गाय इज नॉट गोइंग टू गिव अप एंड थ्री मंथ्स लेटर ऑन वेन आई वेन आई सेट दिस थिंग इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव अ लीगल थिंग विच फाइनली फाइनली इंडिया में द कोर्ट्स आर रेडी टू हेयर सो लेट्स नॉट वेस्ट मच टाइम लेट्स ब्रिंग विनोद ऑन द स्क्रीन अन्ना नमस्कार जय श्री राम एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स नमस्कार थैंक यू सो मच संदीप जी फॉर हैविंग मी हियर एंड फॉर द स्टाइल रग पीपल सपोर्टर्स नमस्कारम एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट लेट्स बिगिन द शो ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अन्ना आई वांट टू नो अबाउट द केस दैट यू हैव फाइल्ड अगेंस्ट गूगल 2 करोड़ इज समथिंग दैट नो यूट्यूबर हैज फाइल्ड एनी केस अगेंस्ट दीस कंपनीज we know ki fight lamba hone wala it's going to be a long process but just tell us a little bit about how this whole legal process started and uh, what can we expect in the next coming days yeah so initially uh, people suggested me to file a grievance complaint and then take it to the ministry rajiv chandrasekhar ji ashwini vaishnav ji a couple of names in the pmo and many things went through all of it no support from anywhere and the grievance uh, officer have replied in detail about all the points that we raised uh, they have replied to the mail and i see they have clearly declared we are not going to put back the channel <clears throat> mm-hmm. so then um, as you know i was busy with my odt works and uh, trying to get back on track uh, i posted all the videos which are deleted by youtube over there it's available to people but still um hazels with the developers and uh, trying to get a quality team in place and then a lot of problems i entered into a game where earlier uh, there was a platform where i had just have to edit and upload videos now i have to maintain the platform hmm. <laughs> cost a bomb and then it's a business it's a, a new market so i barely had a team Uh, three four people pulling out heavens so we building out um, things like this took me a lot of toll on my health and everything so <clears throat> i <coughs> i started to understand that i have to build an army to fight these people hmm. um initially i started exposing the deep state um george soros and the big names um uh, the funding data <clears throat> and everything i've started making uh, the big enemies the us deep state blacklisted me that's how the channel went down and uh, we have seen how many people are behind it they are openly mm-hmm. saying that we got your channel reported and you, we got your channel deleted so yeah. this is the sort of unfair play they will resort to when they we expose their uh, true faces that is what they do <clears throat> to our uh, existence uh, but anyways nobody is scared here nobody is going to back off we have legal ways th- uh, in this regard i would like to thank sashank shekhar ji sashank shekhar ji um, is a, he came all the way and then to amravati to uh, fight the case and thanks to um, all the divinity and the grace the high court has uh, agreed to uh, uh, file a case 
the notice has been issued to the government and also google mm-hmm. after four he has given four weeks time uh, after four uh, four weeks for them to respond and then the respondents will attend after four weeks so the actual game is going to start after four weeks <laughs> so waiting okay. for it okay now you 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 talked about us deep state and uh, the certain messages which i even i have seen a couple of days back on twitter itself someone yeah. uh, reposted one of your tweet a puncture yeah. putra and said ki i got we reported this account and we got it removed uh, from all social media yeah. from youtube and all those things and now yeah. uh, without going much into the details in short if you can just tell us how how are we measuring up in fighting these people because we have we talked about it 3 months back also now we yeah. have elections coming in all sort of uh, propaganda stories the narratives keep coming different kind of photos are being shared every day yahan pe itna yeah. crowd wahan pe itna support this and that kind of thing mm. in between all these things you have invested a lot of money you have invested a lot of uh, efforts you mm. have given your health also which which gets compromised are we yeah. faring decently well enough in terms of fighting these narratives or is the system way too strong and uh, it's going to be difficult is what i'm trying to understand over here the western deep state is the strongest system we had the enemies are colorful the enemies are powerful mm. and mm. also they come with all colors possible we have seen the quality movies are from hollywood the quality movies are from bollywood the influence mm. is from the stars who are leftists so uh, the hindu phobia or whatever this propaganda media is doing everything possible to uh, uh, bring about a civil war kind of a situation they can so easily do it the propaganda mm. they are very strong mm. and we are very weak uh, which is which is clearly seen even after the channel is taken down i have to put my money into fight the cases the court hearings are very damn costly mm. and um, thanks to the advocates the we have support Hmm. the ministry is not giving i mean the, the basic reason that uh, we see from the ministry is this elec- elections time we we can't focus on it uh, it is understandable uh, modi ji is equally doing everything uh, for the nation we can't expect uh, any kind of expecting a monetary and uh, uh, time support from the ministers who are already fighting is stupid so we have to fight on our own and that is hmm. understood <coughs> coming to the strength that we have we are definitely very weak you look at the way the deep state functions these are deliberately they know that they are thugs they know that they are the uh, fraudsters going after every home in every street and then telling that in your home you have a problem in your home you have mm-hmm. a problem even though there is no problem and mm-hmm. above all you you yourself if you look at your home that is the worst possible home that you have and you are not solving a bunch of problems you have you you are a problem creator to the people and then when you win over it when you make people believe in your stupid nonsense that's when you establish yourself into a big company hmm. that is what the deep state is all about the deep state is, deep, deep state has evolved itself into a big a conglomerate a monster hmm. now hmm. it is playing its games it has its indian wings the news laundry the queen to the wire and all sorts of propaganda media they put money into it they play the game whichever way they want during elections the manipulation hmm. of information is on what level hmm. to be seen <clears throat> in this regard in this this is the time where voices like string is much needed they managed to wipe it out and you can see the kind of game they are playing true true now before coming live uh, with me and anna we were discussing and i was telling him that <laughs> his his videos were so bloody amazing with all the effects and the presentation that uh, he should be probably do uh, some tie up with bollywood although i am a bo- boycott bollywood part wala banda but still uh, krish movies and all those things but jokes apart uh, this is my request to the audience who is watching right now to the people who are going to watch later on uh he has invested a lot of lot of money on his ott platform i see the puncture putra putra and all those people getting lakhs and lakhs of rupees every month every month so in donation yes. yeah 
in donation from the Hindus, from the liberals, from the leftists and all those things. My request to the people who are watching right now, who are going to watch later on, even if you spend from every home, even if you give 100 rupees a month, just 100 rupees a month, it's going to help these kind of people a lot. And the reason why I'm asking for this support, I have nothing to do with it. I have never met this person personally. I have just followed his work. I've just connected with him uh, in regards to the podcasts that we do and sharing ideas, sharing the ideology that we have. So my request to you all would be, be it the smallest amount. Go ahead, support. It will not pinch your pocket, but it will go in such a cause that you may not realize the value of it right now, but after 30, 40, 50 years, you will see the difference in, the, in this country. And if you do not want that difference to come, this difference, you need to be part of. Now, Anna, the OTT platform, the challenges are, is it only just financial or is it technical also? Technical, uh, financial also. The fortunate thing is the reach is good. People mm. are watching the content. The subscribers are increasing. Everything is good. But mm. uh, the technical challenges, unfortunately, we are, we cannot get a team who is competent enough to produce the level of quality that Amazon is or Netflix is. That is where, okay. I mean, we have, uh, right now we have got some good developers team who is helping us uh, with it. Mm. Uh, people approach us to help us in all sorts of things. But then eventually when we get into the nuances, uh, difficulties arise. Mm. So that is the thing about OTT. But otherwise, uh, for me to uh, survive and for me to get back on track, I'm doing a lot of uh, commercial projects involved in movies. And for mm. me to work for Hindutva, because that, that is where uh, my heart lies, uh, to do that. But this is a kind of area where you can't get anything out of it financially. <clears throat> you have to burn yourself out and then you get nothing. It's a, not a good model for me to survive. So for me to keep mm. it up, I have to work somewhere and then get money and then uh, uh, do it. Davis Grace, I'm involved in a really, really big projects supported by the Hindutva Foundations from the foreign. I don't want to reveal the names and names of the projects that I'm working on. But really, a big thing is going to get unfolded soon hmm. through String. Okay. Amazing. Now, since we've taken care of the OTT platform and the request has been sent out to the people to support it financially and whatever way you can uh, to the people who are watching. We will talk okay. about a lot of things in this particular video. We will talk, Anna used the word civil war. We will talk about that also. And a specific person who wants to instigate it. And I came across a video today itself after, after uh, just scrolling through Twitter randomly. But first of all, I want to talk about something which everyone is talking about, Anna. Yeah. What is electoral bonds? Everyone seems to be interested. No one wants to talk about it. But eventually, when everyone is talking about it, then everyone says, okay, let's let's not discuss it that openly. Because although people allege, allege that BGP has taken a lot of money, everybody mm. has done that. So what's the hue and cry all about? So uh, there are multiple channels who made positive videos and negative videos on, both el on the electoral bonds. It has become mm. a heated topic. But if mm -hmm. string ha has a perspective that will settle the debates, that will settle the uh, discourse. So mm -hmm. let me have my um, insights on electoral bonds. Basically, the whole world of people are fighting on three uh, things. They are highlighting three things. One is uh, through electoral bonds, the BJP is trying to cut down the funding to opposition parties. Mm -hmm. That is what the first complaint that they have. First cry that they have and opposition what are the opposition parties uh, dmk tmc congress aap jagan better you people don't get funds <laughs> you are you are already doing a lot of looting right so right. gone number two is black money there's the complaining mm. that it is not legitimate there is no data of who is funding who there is no track record and uh, there's a huge possibility of black money getting into the pockets of BJP. Hmm. You you fools who, I mean, Congress has a history. These are the masters of black money. Forget about they complaining about black money. It is, their, their cry is 
black money is not getting into their pockets <laughs> that is the, mm. what the cry is all about the third major complaint that the, is happening is uh, extortion racket mm. if the company is not funding a political party bjp will send the extortion the ed to threaten them ed rights to threaten, threaten them so that they will uh, get back the money if you yeah. uh, look at the numbers see the the main problem is <clears throat> we are a bunch of people who consume news without verifying it we consume the facts without even fact checking it so these are the people who add strength to to the venomous leftists who are on a job of selling the fake news this mm. is the the biggest problem that uh, we are going uh, see wouldn't it be thrilling for you if you said there is a bomb in your house you better vacate uh, you will be dead and the poor guy believed you and vacated it you apply the same trick on 100 others and if it worked you establish a company of your fake news hmm. the few such companies are this news laundry quint wire bbc cnn the the guardian all this top news portals who run a business on human stupidity hmm. fools consume their stuff you know and they extracting money through public donations they are extracting a huge amount of money through viewership and uh, donations right wikipedia comes hmm. up asking donations every now and then is this not extortion this is they no no this is a business no this is extortion what sort of a business is this <laughs> this propaganda portals are responsible for inciting civil wars most of them act as a national security threat right we've exposed mm. the funding data we've exposed the propaganda how they involved in caa rights mm. so drugrati for that matter he is the biggest extortionist if you ask me blatantly coming to support aap party kejriwal people who had no business with india uh, germany and us are talking about kejriwal now what is the point <laughs> uh, the club dancers and bar dancers we we have these people this they will never talk about india in any case but farmers protest mm. rihana will come and talk so um, for a commoner for a common person uh, who is watching pop songs and all sorts of things with the million subscriber influencer when they talk something they will take it for granted right that is the strategy correct correct uh, i uh, cut, uh, sorry for interrupting in between uh, but i had an observation which i wanted you to take on because a lot of people who are saying that electoral bonds specifically that yeah. modi is trying to basically uh, kill the opposition he doesn't want them to have any money to fight the election now yeah. i think for two points over here first thing i think modi is doing the right thing even if, even if he's trying to do that because they are yeah. losing the election as it is why waste the money on ads and all those things you're yes. going to lose as it is but yeah. uh, jokes apart mm. if at all congress did not have any money if they mm. did not had any money or they will yeah. not have any money how yeah. are they spending lakhs and lakhs of rupees in ipl matches the ads that come during ipl matches you can see congress ads during those perfect the pitch. average yeah the average cost of these ads has been placed to 16 to 36 lakhs per 10 seconds yeah per 10 seconds every yeah. time they show it for 10 seconds bees laugh up so yeah so where where are they getting the money from second yes. thing they made a hue and cry about our accounts have been frozen if you don't pay your taxes for 3 years the income tax is going to ask you for tax return and if you don't do that your accounts are going to get frozen do That's you right. think uh, uh we, you talked about a youtuber from germany dhruv rati do you think these people irrespective of the factual data that is available yes. they have been able to create the fa- fake narrative because the educated lot per se or alleged educated lot they do not even if there is a fact they do not want to listen to the fact they just want to listen to acha i follow this person whatever he say, he or she is saying absolutely true that that narrative of worshiping basically the social media influencers is what is hampering uh, the fact narration that needs to be delivered properly absolutely that's the point that is true what you said actually in this regard when uh, people complain about the ed rights i really pray mm. modi ji that ed i want ed to knock their factories down mm. this this must happen because uh, otherwise if you let these people free 
they have a human rights support and then the free speech mongers and all these people support for them to survive out of it they are already making a huge business out of it and uh, the the basic complaint that these people are uh, making on the black money <clears throat> which was actually heavily prevalent when there was electoral uh, there was no electoral bonds hmm. so there is something there was something known as electoral trust hmm. that congress invented hmm. right to make okay. this uh, legitimate the hmm. the amount of uh, black money that they generated is like out of the out of the box so today hmm. bjp has bought transparency in the system of donations uh, because of uh, the transparency of the system the people the way they donate that is why the congress is crying because there is some sense of uh, transparency happening they cry <clears throat> you tell me aren't these the idiots who protested without reading the papers of ca without understanding what it is gather on streets induce fear in public this is the methods they use their goal is to induce fear on electoral bonds hmm. some excuse is this black money extortion all these uh, points and uh, if you want some numbers and data you can look at the track record of the ed raids from 2004 to 2020 2014 to 22 3000 companies they raided but only 26 companies bought electoral bonds from where right. do you complain where do you complain that ed raid and a company will donate to bjp hmm. 2900 companies did not buy electoral bonds right only 26 right. company and out of this there is a percentage right 63% only bjp got <laughs> 40 hmm. oh my god such basic sense i was laughing through this this guy is getting millions of views for such bakwas being you know they use those uh, uh, you know uh, lines what is that danda chanda or what, what is that hmm. chanda uh, so, uh, ganda yeah. hai par danda hai ye in the hindi yeah. mein sabse badi yeah i was laughing through oh my god how many fools in the planet that they are listening to this propaganda without looking at the basic numbers basic sense this is but and no, could it also be the could it also be the fact that the human cry is not because how much money bjp is getting but because yeah. these are some of the people who have contributed to bjp like uh, sharad chetty and all those things yes expectation was ki wo humko karega yani congress was expecting that they are the people who are going to fund us but instead yes. they decided to fund bjp for whatever reasoning by yeah. hook or by crook i don't know the details of it because we haven't seen the documents we don't know who has said what but mm. that expectation that instead of supporting us they are going to then that has led to even more anger and frustration for yeah. people like bar dancers her son and people alike yeah okay cool so frustration is there we will talk about one more frustration because apparently one joker of indian politi- on in politics has said that bjp agar fir se aa gaya to ye samvidhan ko badalna chahte hain ye hmm. khatam kar denge aur hmm. uske baad bharat mein aag lag jayegi hmm. so civil war is basically what this guy has quoted now exactly. two question one one question and one uh, input over here from my side and first of all hmm. you have this bharat jodo nyay yatra going on yes you have elections coming in you are yes. supposed to do seat sharing uh, meetings you are supposed to do planning of the whole advertisement and rallies and things like that but in yeah. between this guy goes to uk apparently mm-hmm. for delivering a lecture in cambridge which cambridge declined by uh, denied by saying that this was a commercial event because they hired a hall to do yeah. some sort of an event over there now mm-hmm. there is one more uh, person raghav chadda who is meeting uh, mp preet gill if i'm not wrong preet gill or preet yeah. gill someone who is a khalistani supporter the yeah. electoral bond issue came after that not before yeah. that i did yes. not hear much about electoral bond now mm-hmm. coming back to rahul gandhi's uh, speech i have an observation mm-hmm. since 1950s till date the amendment in the constitution has been done 106 times someone can go mm-hmm. on the internet and check it out 106 times out of yeah. which uh, during the tenure of atal bihari vajpayee ji which was for four and a half five years it mm. was done nine times since 2015 mm. it, it has been done six times so in total bjp controlled 15 amendments 
कांग्रेस यूपीए कंट्रोल 91 अमेंडमेंट्स नाउ हियर इज द शहजादा सेइंग दैट दे वांट टू मेक चेंजेस टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो योर टेक ऑन द सिविल वॉर दैट ही इज इंड्यूसिंग द फियर अबाउट एंड द मीटिंग्स दैट आर टेकिंग प्लेस इन यूके इन रिगार्ड्स टू द खालिस्तानी सपोर्टर्स इंपैक्टिंग द इलेक्टोरल डिबेट इन इंडिया see basically uh, before just before uh, 2014 if you see uh, mm. that uh, in the, basically the manmohan singh government sonia gandhi was the president mm. and rahul gandhi mm. had full powers mm. okay every kind of power to inside rights to loot india because they are the government and the uh, bjp was in opposition you have a free hands to loot the country beat the country slavery of hindutva Uh, you know, uh, beat down sadhus or temples or whatever. Now, yeah, two thousand after two thousand fourteen, when the shift happened, and forget about fourteen, nineteen, uh, the recent years where Hindutva is rising, the power of uh, uh, Sanatan Dharma is rising. These people mm-hmm. cannot tolerate it. There, uh, Modi ji is almost taking to a point where Congress will be kicked out. Congress will be. Mm-hmm. Uh, completely powerless in the country hmm. now nice. rahul gandhi wants to do something rahul gandhi is basically papu right he cannot do anything right so but uh, that's why he needs he he, he, has... he can and now he can do something he is very famous in delhi for something it works <laughs> through the nose <laughs> uh basically he has got no brain to do anything he uses his hmm. uh, the brains of terror people and uh, when he went to this javits convention hall i posted a video mm. about this terrorist meetings mm. which none of the mainstream media talked about we have exposed his connections with the uh, indian american muslim council indian american muslim council which uh, is again connected with pakistan's hizbul najamuddin uh, who is actively you know pushing this uh, uh, us cifa cifa mm. religious freedom uh, foundation against india so uh, this is what the people he is meeting to somehow uh, again uh, bring about a civil war kind of situation when he openly said india jal jayega fire aayega this is what he means because he has mm. the connections with them <clears throat> if you look at the And, yeah yeah please go ahead please go ahead the islamic council for muslims all these people these are the people who have invested like you know 55000 dollars in us uh, deep state to do uh, attack on bharat okay yeah all the data is available they have a um, track record of you know uh, the pretext of the human rights violations the religious freedom sharing mm-hmm. fake news to erupt communal unrest in india these are they are masters of it hmm yeah okay and in between these uh, the now since we are talking about us and uh, invariably germany comes into the picture now germany has a very good reputation per se there have yeah. been two kind of uh, special dnas that can be found one is a nazi one is a nazi hitler is famous for it and mm. uh, the other is the german shepherd uh, breed which is which india sent out uh, of its own version and the yeah. person is sitting over there now someone yeah. recently put a photo of uh, this particular person and his wife and we should keep the families away from the conversation but still someone posted a photo and asked what do you have to say about this photo and i was and i commented i mm. want to know who's looking at dhruv rathi because no one is looking at dhruv rathi someone is looking at something else someone else but germany nazis a person sitting over there talking about india germany giving out a reaction on arvin kejriwal which is very surprising then mm. us comes into the picture and us also says that the rights of a particular chief minister should be protected and fair trial should happen hemant soren was arrested few days back the no reaction came from anywhere in the world it mm. came only from arvin kejriwal and i i want to take 20 seconds over here but i want to give a reference there is a yeah. very senior journalist based in delhi named sandeep dev i follow mm-hmm. his work uh, india speaks daily is his channel he wrote a book uh, of which i did a podcast also an audio podcast on this particular channel so the, the whole book reading thing he gave out point to point 
detailing of how the meetings used to take place during the UPA time, wherein Aam Aadmi Party was a party or is a party established by Congress as a backup thing because they saw that we are losing name as such. So we need to have a plan B to you know yeah. somehow control the narrative. And uh, Arvind Kejriwal used to go there. This uh, Yogendra Yadav, who, whose actual name is Salim, he used to go there. Prasant Bhushan, a lot of other people who were initially part of Aam Aadmi Party, they all used to go there. Now, yeah. Sonia Gandhi has a connection with people sitting in Germany. They have a connection with people sitting in USA. One entity that I want to bring into the picture, if at all my observation is correct, is CIA. A lot of uh, uh, extracurriculum activities that they are involved in when it comes to destabilizing uh, all the nations that they, they, they do not want to grow. Are we yeah. seeing an interference by these agencies, by these politicians from out of India? to make sure that India should never become the power it's supposed to be or what it seems like it's becoming? 100%. That is what the whole game is all about since ages. Vijay Patel has exposed every kind of thread. Uh, you have seen the names Rockefeller, uh, hmm. BlackRock, Vanguard. Yeah. Uh, the, the big conglomerates were much, much bigger than... Uh, Adani. Hmm. So, hmm. Uh, what people don't know is when, whenever people see Modi ji meeting Bill Gates and shaking hands, hey, this guy is uh, bringing up every kind of conspiracy. Uh, String is a conspiracy theorist. Uh, you see Modi ji is shaking hands with Bill Gates and all these things. But what people don't hmm. realize is Bill Gates meeting meeting Modi ji is a trouble for Bill Gates. <laughs> That's what they miss. <laughs> so. Bill, Modi ji is not promoting any Microsoft software, softwares, right? He is not asking people yeah. to subscribe. Either. He's doing some talking because the guy has got money and his hands are on the nukes. So some dealing has to happen. So mm. and, and his vision is to um, the employment of the people of Bharat or some kind of developments. Mm. But when you look at the CAA, they have a clear cut plan to hmm. bomb any nation, to in, uh, erupt a world war kind of a situation. Uh, hmm. The past histories and the transactions uh, to different Islamic organizations and uh, the, the Rockefeller Fund, the Forbes Foundation, reveals that these people are anti-Hindu and involved in uh, many anti-Hindu activities. Uh, mm. If you look at, there is something known as IPSMF, w- mm. which is funded by Azim Premji, uh, which is like 100 crore funding. And Rohini Nilakani is involved in funding all the DG pub portals, which again funds the anti-national uh, portals. When you mm. expose the funding data, one good thing that happens is you can't play a victim card. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, because the, the the money is clear, the numbers are clear. Hmm. And now when the connections, when you uh, trace back the connections, the employee who is working in the company and uh, the, his manager and his connections, his friends, in, his associates, it leads to George Soros. Hmm. End of the day, he is the big guy. <laughs> And what do you think is the solution of George Soros? Is it Bahattar uh, Huros in meeting or uh, we'll have to find some other way of uh, getting rid of the person and his interest in India per se? And now what I feel is when uh, these people are, um, even after exposing when they are big and they are capable of uh, destroying us, mm-hmm. I feel like these people are on a self-destruction mode. Mm-hmm. End of the day, that's what I tweeted. All we have to do is just wait and see. And hmm. we anyway have the most powerful prime minister in place, Narendra Modi ji, hmm. and he is doing hmm. everything possible to safeguard hmm. the nation. So we just have to wait and see. Because hmm. after I, um, two years back, now it is like three, four years back when I exposed hmm. George Soros, hmm. people ridiculed hmm. me as a constable. They, they trolled me like a comedy. Hmm. They rejected me and they laughed at me. Two years hmm. later, when mainstream media picked up the story and they said George Soros is a fraud, he's an anti-Hindu, he's a, he wants to destroy Bharat, they hmm. started singing like parrots, the same old news which I exposed two years back. Yep. That yep. is where our country is and it is like 
years and years of backwardness how many people you educate millions of people you can't grab them and then, then educate people mm-hmm. tried arguing that soros is a philanthropist he's engaged in a lot of uh, charity work even bill gates does even rockefeller does but what is the inner core of their uh, thing uh even if you talk about the wuhan lab story the, the this very podcast will be deleted so you have no right these people mm. are against freedom of speech but on papers they fight for freedom of speech hmm bunch of hypocrites bunch of That's hypocrites what... and uh, there's something that you that you use the word self destruction i will disagree with you just a little bit over here and I, and I have a complaint i have a complaint to the people who are watching and to all the people who keep saying and i am saying this with utmost humility people who keep saying jai shri ram har har mahadev jai shri ram hindu ja kya hai hindu ja kya hai hmm. when when your team was attacked for the first time from maharashtra which was yeah. almost one and a half one and a half two years back yeah. i clearly remember your your subscription base was about 4 lakhs on youtube yes and when that incident happened uh in the next 6 months 7 months 6 7 months it shot down to around 10 lakhs or something like that 9 and a half yeah. 10 lakhs something like that and i was keeping an eye on the leftist channel at the same time wherein mm. this hindu keeps saying jai shri ram har har mahadev and uh, hindu jag kya hai and mm. i was keeping an eye on couple of other channels deshbhakt channel and uh, german shepherd channel they were yeah. they were growing at least 30 times more than you 40 times yeah. at the, at 40 50 times of pace yes even if even if soros and people like self destructing i was so appalled and i called out people on during my live shows that here is a guy who's talking about you who's trying to fight for you who's giving a better presentation with facts which if someone has to argue on facts argue with him there is no point yeah. reporting and telling that you are fake and this that argue on facts if you want to have a debate have a debate let's go on national channel let's go on a neutral channel and you know have a debate over there but even then you could not grow at the pace you were supposed to grow or you deserved to grow in their self destruction mode are we still not lagging behind in supporting our own interest because what will we know gain we know uh, with again all humility 30 40 50 years he is going to go away yes the the culture needs to be preserved and that is what this person is trying to do so how i don't know what the question is here now you can understand my frustration because it's a, it's I, a, i got it's the a, point i'll just yeah. uh, i'll just give you a a, a better perspective of uh, what i said mm. see mm. when there is a trash in in front of your home in your street mm. and you mm. invest your money and got it cleaned you put your mm. energy and you clean it what will you mm. gain you will gain a clean street you will gain a clean mm. house but mm. you will nobody will pay you a, a single rupee <laughs> mm. so my job is the cleaning job these people dhruva adi and all sorts of idiots they are putting a lot of trash in my home mm. i have taken the pain uh, I, i can't bear the smell so i started cleaning it and for cleaning mm. it nobody supports us hindutva they mm. enjoy the smell oh, for no chaos is happening they enjoy and they don't care for mm. it and it is actually when people like you uh, open their hearts and openly say that educate people that these guys need support they are burning mm. themselves out you need to support them only then mm. a little bit of fresh air comes to my my way and then i gain energy and move forward that is what mm. the situation we are uh, living in and one more thing coming to the self destruction of the deep deep state uh and a self destruction happens all of a sudden it will not happen over a period of time destruction happens okay. destroying somebody and conquering somebody is a long term process it they mm. actually plan it to uh, long term survival but destruction mm. it happens all of a sudden uh if you have seen ankit shah's uh, podcast that we did yep yep he he is like the most brilliant uh, in predictions he is most accurate in predictions right hmm. he is talking about de dollarization hmm. in uh, in the year 1973 
dollar was only 7 rupees right till 1973 dollar was only 7 rupees but now it is 81 rupees you can understand and then modi ji whatever the adani uh, thing and whatever modi ji is doing we might see, come at a phase where uh, if not in 2019 uh, close to 10 years ahead dollar will mm. significantly fall down mm. what if they invent a method where entire cash will be totally um, independent of dollar all the transactions okay. independent mm. of dollar dollar is gone mm. right mm. so and if you look at what is happening in london uh, the infiltration of these refugees jihadis people taking it shit in public places mm. Who, which society do you think will tolerate this so they will kick them out they will start kick them out uh, they already realized that inviting these jihadis is a mistake so when mm. everybody started cornering you and you with a bunch of like i said a bunch of problems within your society only thing that will lead to is a self destruction <clears throat> okay that is one thing another another uh, spiritual perspective the, the spirituality is my strength so i would like to explain in terms of what is hindutva what is sanatan dharma is uh, dharma artha kama moksha <clears throat> right kama if you take the the desires and compulsions we see people evolve through these stages if you have mm. artha that means money you can manage mm. your sexual desires properly and evolve out of it you can conduct your sexual desires in a peaceful way mm. and that will lead to dharma a dharmic mm. way of if you have dharma and if you have transcended that's when you will ha- you will not have any problems with any others you, you fulfill your desires and you will probably help others to find the peaceful journey and then you go forward the last one is you not enjoying not seeking this pleasure with outside object itself there is a way mm-hmm. you are blissful unto yourself that is what is moksha mm-hmm. that is what uh, we say the path of dharma artha kama moksha you apply this hmm. to the abrahamic religions where are they they are still in the first phase itself kama hmm. and then if you want to build uh, religions and governments based on this what will happen conquer this is actually going against nature itself sanatan dharma is the signs and laws of nature right that is what the nature of Correct. things now Correct. if you put people into this kind of thing what will happen nature itself will fight against them that will lead to a self destruction hmm so that is what i wanted to explain in a simple terms in a limited time but if you go into elaborate this is an entire science of sanatan and, and, <clears throat> and i hope by the time we are done with our life we get to see the changes or at least get to see the implementations of the way life is supposed to be lived a lot of questions coming in the chat room but i'll i'm uh, people who are sending questions i am looking at the chat screen i am saving them we will address them once we are done with uh, with the pointers that we want to discuss and uh, sure. don't worry in case you think that i'm missing it out don't worry i am i am keeping no, a track of it no. now uh, self destruction versus preservation now how will bjp preserve itself uh, people are saying in anti incumbency that two mm. 10 years done is modi yeah. the right choice for the third term Uh, mm-hmm. will he have the same effect of 400 par jo claim mara gaya hai and i also want to understand from you the challenges that uh, bjp is going to face specifically in south of india and i, I also want to understand and why has bjp failed to be accepted by south india as much as it has been by north india not completely north india also but still somewhat still lagging behind uh, in in getting the right percentage of votes over there uh and actually if you see the biggest problem in south india is the the regional feeling and the caste feeling is just the the is breeding a radical mindsets of people you might have seen in karnataka there is a wave of people who are pulling down the english boards mm. uh hating the english uh, letters 
the people right. have attacked and collapsed the um, shops of uh, businesses many businesses hmm. Hmm. you look at you look at andhra a huge bunch of uh, caste feeling hmm. people are infested with this mindsets that you are caste these groups of people it feels really ugly and weird when a person who wants to do a business want to set up a company you put a this filth of caste feeling on him how does it hmm. feel why do you hmm. think infosys and this uh, big companies will even find markets over there so hmm. this is one thing and the torture of corruption in these states hmm. is hmm. not letting any kind of uh, uh, same thing happening over here hmm. and dmk with tamil nadu oh you need not talk about the hindu hatred being there hmm. hindu hatred and hindi hatred hmm they seriously look down upon people who speak hindi right hmm. we have seen people in trains and all when they speak hindi they just uh, catch all and beating and hitting them <clears throat> so how do you bring all these people together and uh, love bjp which is always talking about the saffron flag flag and sanatan dharma hmm. it's impossible you need to you need a lot of influencers educating them professors in their schools educating them parents educating them a lot of uh, transformation is needed and uh, of all the three states what i see is karnataka is in a better place because of the spiritual roots the strength of spiritual gurus alive gurus who are walking the land okay. uh, spirituality because you know when when i spoke about the dharmartha karma moksha thing this is uh, the line of unity happens only beyond physical when you have experienced something beyond physical only then you will be willing to keep aside your family your religion your caste your color skin race everything and then unite hmm. that sort of awareness if you look at it karnataka karnataka has more uh, spiritual people uh, andhra is zero complete hmm. whole bunch of works uh, jagan has bred all um, huge amount of uh, uh, this what do you, what do you call this dalits <clears throat> hmm. if you empower the dalit with uh, freebies and all sorts of things uh, you will not grow in any better in the state so this is one big problem that is happening in andhra pradesh and uh, tamil nadu hmm okay uh, venki ji the the question that you are raising the content is not there on youtube because uh, the youtube channel has been bought down by youtube and that is what the fight is all about and anna has sued google for 2 crore rupees and that is what the discussion and other topics that we are discussing today but coming back to our conversation anna uh, yeah. i want to understand one thing over here that you talked about the boards of english from the of the shop shop owners of the companies being uh, torn down but the same hatred can or even more hatred can be seen for hindi speaking people or hindu hindi boards or uh, that language and its usage yeah english still somewhat acceptable mm. hindi definitely a no no now mm. it is the dilemma of life that a language which is sitting 5000 kilometers from you is still yeah. acceptable to you to an extent because you want to work in an mnc you want to do yeah. this uh, fancy jobs and all those things and in your own country 500 kilometers you have hindi speaking people you have more hatred for them yes the problem which i want to understand and is over here because we have this notion in even i have this notion that south indian people people from south india are more literate than us in terms of education getting proper system of education even yeah. then this problem and when people say uh, north india mein casteism bahut hai this and that but if north is india has casteism the word for which every time there is only one word is brahman patriarchy and all those all those things but i see more casteism in south india hmm. irrespective yep. of the education system so yes. do you think educated people educated people are the ones who are actually more at fault over here instead of the commoners who may not have that knowledge per se that is what my complaint is and that is why i gained a lot of enemies from the education sector also i am com- continuously saying educated people are behaving worse than drunkards and drug addicts true that is seen everywhere fashionably drinking fashionably smoking 
the labor habits all sorts of ridiculous uh, uh, mindsets is mm-hmm. what the education is uh, education educated people are having in these states mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Uh, this this cannot be transformed until you uh, get a wave of spiritual process mm-hmm. because the education is barely teach anything spiritual anything hindutva correct it's all about us and foreign dreams and mm-hmm. uh, the western movies Hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm not being clear. You know, the content can be still posted on YouTube by the followers. The thought is YouTube is watched by more people than the OTT. Venki sir, if the content is going to be posted in YouTube, which is his content, as it is, YouTube is going to bring it down because it's his beautiful face that they hate. So <laughs> that part is always going to be the problem. One person I want to talk specifically and take your opinion on because a lot of people in North India are looking at him very. keenly in a very mm. interesting manner like an hawkai and the person's mm. name is annamalai annamalai yeah. seems to be like a guy who actually looks like a fire brand kind of a guy, person and uh, i took the liberty of going extra mile and uh, posted about something about him on twitter and i maybe too early to say but i i i wrote i see a future pm somewhere down the line 15 yes. 20 years a little more maturity a little more yes. control a little more reach do you still do you also get that vibe from that person because he seems yeah. to be someone who can bring some glory for bjp in uh, south of india and more than that yes and um, bjp is building its parivar modi ka parivar <laughs> modi ka parivar <laughs> <laughs> he's absolutely a gem out of a person he's absolutely mm. he's raising fire he's like spitting dragon and mm. devi plants it is like if uh, it is to be believed that devi will plant people across as and when needed annamalai is the guy in the right kind of place hmm yeah and do you see him reaching out to north india also eventually because as of now the concentration is south of india because that is the first uh, the, what is the stronghold is not there from from bjp so he needs to create that base for bjp there and then build up from there but do yes. you agree with me maybe 20 years down the line he could be one of the guys to look forward to when it comes to leading the country because first of all he's educated he, he knows course. the law an ips yes. officer of that cadre yes. so yes. the the qualities are all there yes beautiful combo down the line if you see the, obviously he'll be there in the center hmm. i want him to mm. play the big game because when i'm uh, sure mm. yes when people are tired when i mean of course modi ji by the time anamali reaches the top they will clean all the major things down we have already mm. seen many things right from uh, uh, demonetization caa triple talaq and uh, abrogation of 370 maybe the next mm. upcoming pok and all these things will be sorted down now mm. the thing that will be left is uh, to deal with the half baked hindus the point five mm. front war is mm. what will be left for the uh, the new generation bjp leaders to handle with which mm. will be a major uh, war it is always mm. uh, our people facilitate the enemy right the destruction happened the demolition of hindutva happened majorly because our people ka saath dena Hmm. There is a famous dialogue. Dushman ke dil mein itna dam kider some some dialogue. Hmm. I forgot. It's always the enemy. Dushman ke kisi ko agar ye dialogue samajh mein aa raha hai, matlab kaun sa hai specific to ek bari chat room mujhe likh ke de dena. Yeah. Chat room mein ek aur interesting comment aaya hai. I just I just want to show it on the screen. नमस्कार भाई जी ब्रह्म कुमारी संस्थान लगातार केवल हिंदू परिवारों को तोड़कर उनका जीवन रख कर रही है क्या अपन पीड़ितों को गाइड कर सकते हैं पॉडकास्ट कर सकते हैं राजीव जी आप ब्रह्म कुमारी जो स्टाइल रख लिखना आपको एक ऐसा अभूतपूर्व पॉडकास्ट मिलेगा डेढ़ साल पहले का जहाँ पे ब्रह्म कुमारी के सारे जितने भी कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज हैं और पीपल टॉक्ट अबाउट इट आई हैव कोलेटेड एवरी थिंग एंड प्रेजेंटेड टू यू गाइस आप वहाँ पे देख सकते हो और उसके बाद भी अगर आपको कुछ बात करनी है राजीव भाई फील फ्री टू ईमेल मी और मैसेज मी वी विल हैव दैट कॉन्वर्सेशन नाउ कमिंग बैक टू अस यू टॉक्ट अबाउट ट्रिपल तलाक यू टॉक्ट अबाउट डीमोनेटाइजेशन आई वांट टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट इनवेजन एंड आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट 1000 इयर्स बैक आई डोंट वांट टू टॉक अबाउट 800 इयर्स बैक बिकॉज़ ऑफ माय वर्क एंड रिसेंटली आई गॉट टू ट्रैवल अ लॉट टू अ लॉट ऑफ सिटीज इन साउथ इंडिया 
uh, a lot of uh, little known places, uh, West Bengal also, Guwahati and other places. I see a lot of uh, people these days wearing uh, these women. Uh, I don't know whether the person behind the burqa is woman or not because anyone can wear a burqa and uh, burqa ke niche kya hai, no one knows. Just like there is a very famous Hindi song, Choli ke piche kya hai, but everyone is aware Choli ke piche kya hai. But burqa ke niche kya hai, kisi ko nahi pata. It can be a man, it can be a woman. I, I, I saw a lot of them. I saw hmm. a lot of uh, male with their kurta pajamas and all. And I saw yeah. a lot of women. I saw a lot of kiddies, chote chote bachche, das das bachche, chal chal bachche leke ghoom rahe hain. Hmm. I personally think, Anna, that South is is facing an invasion right now. Yeah, And true. you can correct me if my observation is wrong. Because I have been to these cities four years back also, five years back also. And I didn't see so much of population roaming around on the street, just yeah. putting themselves in your face. You go to Kutum Minar today. If you go to come to Delhi someday, go to yeah. Kutum Minar any weekend. 95% mm. people you will find Samudai Vishesh Mahape. Do mm-hmm. you think this is all happening strategically? All these different they, they do not want to be concentrated in one place. They are yeah. strategically going to different states that eventually, when the call for Gazwai Hind comes, every state will some Muslims will come and say, Hamare Yabi, Hamare Yabi, and then they will say, Kipura Desh Kara, Gazwai Hind, Yasari Musulman Kare. Are we seeing a, a fight which is being fought by these people because the Hindus eventually are saying Jai Shri Ram? And that is that creating was, a little problem. You got the right point. Actually, the 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 culprit here is uh, Mamata, who hmm. kept the borders porous, where all the Rohingyas will be entered into the country, and then w- hmm. what we are seeing is the results of these Rohingyas without other cards, and you know that the the mentally sick people these are hmm. infiltrated into every street corner of uh, uh, this, especially South India is the hub because we know BJP is weak here. In any part of the city, if you uh, challenge the existence of Hindutva, you will be knocked down mm. very easily. We have seen there, for the first time in the history of entire Hindutva, one person, Yogi Adityanath Ji, they are the Rohingya lot and the Islamic jihadis are scared of. Mm. Right? There is no such uh, person in the South. It is extremely mm. difficult for the center to drive in the force when the states are mm. not cooperating, when the states mm. are not powerful. Uh, states itself is cooperating with the jihadis. It's extremely difficult right. for the center to uh, drive in, put, put force. But still, thanks to uh, Modi ji, has put a team of NIA in Bengaluru after the Rameshwaram mm. cave blast. Mm. And mm. this is what they will go after. You might have seen uh, Ansel Saxena tweeted a few things about the bombs getting exposed in a school mm. by these mm. Rohingya. So they don't give a shit about anything. Just explode Hindus and jihadi gajwai hind karo. That is absolutely true of why you're seeing this kind of people, men in burqa, mm. roaming around. They have a plan, right? They do Reiki, they do collection of data, they do collection of how many Hindu shops and where, the how to plan things. When the moment comes, when um, you see the results of 2024 elections, like Rahul Gandhi was saying, bombs might explode. Hmm. We know. And the message to Hindus is, uh, be vigilant, be cautious, don't take it for granted. We are on a war zone. But Hindus, as it is, have to be cautious because I think the the whole scenario, if we recall how it has been talked about in movies, documentaries, people like you, people like me have talked about it, even about Kashmir also, about how the neighbors, uh, you know, gave out the locations of their neighbors, that a Hindu hidden here. It's yeah. tank and the shupawa, it's rice back and the shupawa, and people have been killing. And, and still, yeah, and still we are the same people who, when a Muktar and Sari dies because of heart attack, we are the same people who say that uh, UP ka Ladla mar gaya hai, itna mm. khatanak insan tha. Mere khayal mein ek din aisa aayega na, jahan pe ye log ye bhi bol denge ki dinosaurs ne suicide kiya tha, usme natural causes kuch bhi nahi the, dinosaurs committed suicide and that's the reality. Or maybe Allah asked them ki, okay, you come to Jhur Jannat yahan pe and we will play some video game kind of things yahan pe. But jokes about, 
but jokes about do you do you see this as a as an ideological problem or do you see it more in terms of uh, for the lack of a better word because woke terminology has been coined up so much uh, so much more than ideology is it yeah. ideological problem or woke problem ki mera problem main agar jaise ram bolunga to main regressive hu vinod tilak laga ke baitha hai wo regressive hai but samne wala apne uske bare mein baat kar raha hai that's freedom of practicing religion yeah ana uh, i am one of the very few people in the planet who coined the term survival to the fittest hmm. right now when you look at my pinned tweet in uh, twitter because i have hmm. twitter is the only platform that i have in the ucc video that i put out i clearly hmm. declare that the society is running in survival to the fittest mode hmm. no invasions no ideological no propaganda no whoever is powerful he is getting his plate of me hmm. to hmm. it so this is barbaric we don't have any the, the, the systems are building right now because of modi ji the systems are right now we are we are seeing uh, era where we are building our democracy right now like the other th- people the demons are saying democracy is under collapse no mm. democracy is actually building right now democratic solutions that is the reason why even i am also depending on courts i am not using mm. any other methods to revive my channel even though i can Hmm. i have a pretty good black hat friends in australia who in a phone call they said immediately you want your channel today you want to bust out this channel hmm. every day this conversation i go through but still i do not do that because i want permanent solutions and permanent solutions are possible only through legal think correct correct black hat employing to get the channel is illegal <laughs> you're not supposed to do that hmm. Okay, well, someone in the chat room has written, how can we watch your deleted channel videos? Bharat Ji, in the description box, you will see two links in the description box. One is a YouTube channel and one is on Anna's OTT platform. Ka. You can go there, you can watch all the videos and the new content that keeps uh, updated over there. So, is there any other medium that people can watch through besides the YouTube channel and the uh, OTT platform link that I provided in the, in the description box? Or these are the two platforms as of now. I'm going to open up a lot of free content in my OTT on next month. Developers are working okay. on it. Okay. So this problem will be solved. Okay. Okay. So let's take some questions from the chat room. Uh, yeah. Partha ji has said, are you only focused on string G or attempts are also being made to get YouTube channel back? Partha ji, we've already answered. This video is about that only that uh, Anna has filed a case against Google. The whole process will take about three to four weeks. to come in front of the courts and uh, that is when the whole thing is going to get unraveled uh anuradha ji writes while bharat responds strongly to outside forces why do our agencies especially when the bjp is in power not respond strongly to internal traitors who are threatening us openly in public that is what i said no they they calculate on how much energy you want to spend on the issues right now the hmm. challenge is too big uh one side developments one side threats from the deep state one side uh, bombs from pakistan and china all they their energy the web of energy has to spread across everything and then hmm. if you yeah. want to address this, um, a, a rape case on a street which yeah. is the responsibility of the local minister or a police to handle you tag modi hmm. ji and then hey modi ji is not what the hell <laughs> so <laughs> so th- this is our problem and better we have to gather support put our energy mm. and then uh, fight it the uh, issuing notice on google is the best example that which is mm. me and thanks to the lawyer shashank ji who came forward to fight for it he drafted a whole huge uh, 100 page document on it and he's mm. he's pretty confident he's perfectly saying that i will get your channel back Hmm. Yeah. That sounds very promising. Uh, एक अनिल जी का क्वेश्चन है ना, which I want to show first, which says, ask me know about his uh, predictions in Andhra. I really hope Andhra people wake up this time and vote for TDP plus Jan Sena. Want his inputs on ground reality. It's it's pretty unpredictable in Andhra because uh, Jagan he has a batch of his goons. 
and mm. uh, see it, it is end of the day if you look at andhra it has a history of wiping out the lives of chief ministers uh, chandrababu naidu was bombed right when he is in power in the alipuri ghat on his uh, way back and then mm. rajshekhar mm. reddy we know what happened jagan we know what happened so uh, we have seen jagan waiting for a phone call he's on a phone call waiting for his uh, uncle or somebody to be uh dead so when mm-hmm. these kind of situations are there uh, in andhra pradesh it's really uh, life threatening it's impossible mm-hmm. to predict even even if you elect somebody and win somebody people will go for spotting you your life mm-hmm. you, okay I, i have a question which is which just came into my brain and i i just want to get your opinion on that the census has not been done for quite a quite a for quite some time now after 2011 so we don't really know actually how many people live in india legally or illegally or whatever ways and in between that uh, specifically when we talk about the reddy families and all they have converted a lot of dalits to christianity but they've yeah. asked them that apna naam change mat karo halaluya karo ja ke sunday ko but uh, jo scst ka ya jo bhi backward class ka benefit milta hai you keep that and you keep mm-hmm. taking that money also and uh, you will be funded from the church also yeah how big a problem could that be when it comes to elections because eventually the schemes that are supposed to go to a particular class reaches there but that class after enjoying those benefits goes to the church and says this government is not doing anything for us the central government is not doing anything for the christians no you are not you are not christian you are not dalit you are in between you are a 2 kg rice ka packet converted <laughs> Christian who doesn't want to give out the name Ramesh, you still want to call yourself Ramesh and still say, "Okay, okay, father, take me to the church." These kind of things will play a major role in elections, and I think uh, census could help could have helped in filtering out these kind of problems. Yes, Anna, but we we didn't do so. Let's not talk about what uh, is not done. Uh, mm. I was repeatedly saying in any every podcast that Dalits uh, are a bunch of people who survive on the freebies, lethargic people surviving on the freebies of government. People took it in a negative way, saying that this guy is mercilessly insulting uh, Dalit community, and the community started emerging out mm. against me. Mm. But what you said is exactly what is happening uh, over here. The rice bag converts. uh is what has become a biggest threat to the number of votes uh hmm. jagan's entire uh, richness jagan's entire hmm. the the kingship that he is enjoying right now is because he perfectly uh, knocked down all these dalit votes the christian convert hmm. votes so that is why i said it is very unpredictable because unless and until a powerful um the janasena tdp uh, has a strategy to grab this mm. lot of people you mm. can't win the game kind mm. of situation jagan is pretty strong in the dalit community is... mm. money power okay one more question from maya ji the deep state using wangchuk to create manipur like situation in ladakh any comments on that anna wangchuk ji 21 din tak khana nahi kha rahe the ंग Hmm. uh one good news i don't know whether i have the luxury to say this uh deep state is actually scared of modi ji the deep state hmm. is scared of two people basically one is you should guess yogi elon, elon musk elon musk <laughs> elon musk <laughs> some day i i get this visions in the night when i am in my deep divine state connected to the gods while i'm sleeping i get yeah. this divine uh, divine dreams wherein uh, elon musk some day is going to wear a safa elavat tilak kurta pajama pehen ke shuddha hindi bolte hue aake bolega tesla says jashri ram so the moment you're going to uh, 
uh, open your doors to the Tesla car, it's going to welcome you. Jai Shri Ram Bol. I think that day, that, <laughs> that day will happen soon. Yeah, that day may will happen your, someday. May your dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> My dreams come true. Uh, See, if I'm at all that dream comes hmm. yeah. yeah, go ahead. I really, really respect and bow down to Elon Musk because I am enjoying Twitter right now, the free speech. I have mm. a privilege to express my uh, views because of Elon Musk. Even on mm. Twitter, do you think these people are not trying mass reporting and things? They are. Absolutely. Absolutely. But still, Elon Musk is not, uh, doesn't have a wacky system like YouTube where uh, mm. bots will respond and the AI will take an action. No. Mm. They tried mass reporting and they cannot delete my Twitter hmm. because the the system knows from where the attack is coming from. Yeah. I wish Elon Musk had bought Twitter way early, maybe two three years back when I yes. had a decent following account. My five times suspend over Twitter on Twitter. This account, sad. this account, I had to borrow it from a friend. So oh. my friend had a separate, yeah, like. Uh, the person was not using this particular account. I told mm-hmm. the person, yeah, it's gonna throw a rename, rename, karke, password, password, karke. Give it to me because even if I try to create it from my home, maybe the IP addresses and the MAC IDs of the hardware, it might create yeah. a little problem. So I had mm-hmm. to ask someone else to give me a, a reformed version of uh, style, style as it is, does not exist on Twitter. The moment I try to create an account with a double G or with an underscore or whatever, it gets suspended immediately. So oh, that right. is there. But uh, before we wrap up on that, the last time we talked about, uh, in last time also I asked you about this. I'm going to ask this again. Yeah. 2024, <clears throat> it's, it, it seems, 400 seems difficult. Let's be very practical. It seems mm-hmm. difficult, but majority is going to come, be it yeah. a little here and there, whatever, majority is going to come. Yeah. Are we still, last time you said 2027, you see uh, Modi stepping down, maybe uh, giving yeah. the reins to someone else for two years. And then a new face emerges. Are we still talking on those theories? Or do you think, uh, because Modi today itself has said that in the first 100 days, I'm going to take big decisions. Now, my observation says he's going to take big decisions on maybe Gyan Wapi, on maybe maybe Mathura, uh, maybe a population control bill, maybe UCC, maybe NRC, a lot of things. And then after 100 days, he'll say, yeah. And then he will say, I'm going to I'm going, I'm going to live in peace. Now you fight the fight. Do you still, are you still sticking to the same theory? Two, two and a half, three years for Modi in the next term and then a new phase? No, he's he's going to perform like the way he performed as the chief minister of Gujarat. The okay. most fiery person of Modi ji is what we're going to see in, in uh, 2024. Where, hmm. uh, see, earlier uh, when a person uh, as the age uh, seeps in, a lot of compassion seeps into the being. True. That is when it is advised by the top, um, the wise people that you should not be in a position of, uh, you should not continue sorts of things. Because if you mm. feel compassionate on a jihadi, there ends the game. <laughs> so True. you should be, you should be, uh, that fiery element is needed, like Yogi Ji is needed um, at that place. And uh, we need to answer the people in the language that they understand. So these are mm. the things uh, upon which a decision will be made. Mm. And But still we will see, like I've put out my cover pick, right? 2024 is going to be scintillating in the history of, in the land of Bharat. <laughs> Every mm. line of what we predicted will, there is no way that strings predictions will go wrong. Every line of what mm. we predict will happen is happening. It's bound to happen. In the second line, I said ED raids. The wicked chief ministers will face the wrath of IB and ED raids. And the mm. anti-nationals will rot and die because the of the rise of uh, Hindutva voices. The rise of uh, mm. people who will be standing up for Dharma. That is mm. also happening. Obviously, Modiji will retire. Mm. But by then he would have done what he was sent for. Yes. Uh, all his now dreams, before I ask, all yeah. of his his dreams will be fulfilled. And all of his dreams, he will. He is like a he is a divine being. He has divine blessings. Divine itself is flowing through him. So he hmm. will completely wo karke aram se so. <laughs> but 
uh the next phase um, the problems and things we have to deal with it correct uh, shadow bhai us cheez ka discussion humne already kar liya hai but uh, before i ask for your wrap up comment on now there is something that i want to say i generally do not abuse during podcasts or during any videos but yeah. there is a very famous uh, stand up comedian named papa cj i don't know if you have seen uh, his videos or not yeah, but papa cj not- in yeah but papa cj in one of the videos long back like i saw it like 15 years back and, and he was mm. very new those days uh and he was talking to britishers that you know what an indian can do or cannot do and blah 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 mm. so in that regard i want to attach one statement which has a curse word so excuse me for that mm. that modi ji modi ji basically saying in this election to the indi alliance that we come from the land of kama sutras we can mm. fuck you in more ways than you can imagine So, <laughs> so I think two thousand so twenty-four. I think is going to be like that, where no one is going to because that is what is happening right now. No one knows. Agle din kya hone wala hai? We hear something, yes. something, something. But having said that, any closing comments, Anna, uh, before we wrap up this video from your side? Hmm. These are elections times. A lot of chindi YouTubers have become active, and a lot of manipulated data is flooding the internet. so please be careful mm. please verify the data don't take it for granted all sorts of fake news to scare public to induce public these people are on full time job mm. modi ji is anyway making it you don't become a funny character in the social domain is what i wanted to mm. say mm. anyway string is not there for you to come and talk about electoral bonds or whatever nonsense these people will create i am anyway there on twitter mm. trying to put out my view but at the same time people who are on youtube please be careful hold on for a month hold on for a month chalo we hope anna ki jitna jaldi ho sake your channel comes back and it comes back yeah. with four times five times the force that it was before and i hope uh, people who used to support you pehle youtube ke through and people who are supporting you right now will keep in mind that this fight is a slow process things yeah. take a lot of time to change and they just do not give up after 2 years or 1 years or 6 months and uh, we hope that you not only get 2 crores but 20 crores but most importantly the channel comes back online that the is the channel, wish that we have from us channel today. the channel comes back and i am going to fucking waste that <laughs> never no one never imagine <laughs> so i think uh, the task for you now will be by the time your channel comes back you need to come as you need to read kama sutra <laughs> by heart <laughs> so that you yes. can find new ways. Yeah, but anyway, Dana, thank you so much for giving us the this opportunity to hosting you again. And uh, I'm pretty sure we'll stay connected, and uh, in the future also we'll keep talking about stuff that we need to always. Enjoyed so this. Much. Thank you so much for having me. Jai Shri Ram. Jai Shri Ram, bhai. Okay, ji. So first of all, so I one more time want to Hindi me thank you for giving us Anna. Ka. Uh, see hamara uh, small community hai we don't have lakhs of followers and that is where i find this guy very different bahut hi alag kyunki kai bade youtubers honge jo chote platforms pe ya kam uh, subscriber subscription subscription based wale channels pe shay jana prefer nahi karenge soch ke ki yaar main yahan pe kyun jaun par ye banda waisa nahi dikhta hai he talks from the heart he talks the way it is no sugar coating no diplomacy that you could see in his language एंड uh, मेरा तो भाई यही है आप लोगों से फिर से रिक्वेस्ट रहेगा डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स के अंदर एक यूट्यूब चैनल का स्ट्रिंग जियो का लिंक है ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म का लिंक है प्लीज गो हैड सब्सक्राइब करो शेयर करो सपोर्ट करो वर एवर वीडियोज देट यू सी मैं तो कहता हूँ एंड आई एम प्रिटी श्योर कोई कॉपी राइट स्ट्राइक ऐसा कुछ नहीं आएगा उसके रील्स शॉर्ट्स बना के यार इंस्टाग्राम पे चलाओ ट्विटर पे चलाओ टैग करना हिज गोइंग टू रीपोस्ट एंड दैट इज हाउ यू कैन सपोर्ट अगर आप फाइनेंशियली नहीं कर सकते हो ज्यादा सपोर्ट एटलीस्ट छोटे छोटे क्लिप्स निकाल के इनके रील्स शॉर्ट्स बना के शेयर इट ऑन सोशल मीडिया टैग हिम ताकि इनके साथ भी और लोग जुड़े रिक्वेस्ट अदर पीपल टू कंट्रीब्यूट टू हिज प्लेटफॉर्म बंदा खुद से पॉकेट से पैसे लगा के आप लोगों के लिए वो करने की कोशिश कर रहा है जिसके अगेंस्ट में आपकी पॉकेट से पैसा लेके जुबेर जैसे लोग जो है काम कर रहे हैं किसी ने चैट रूम में पूछा था कि ध्रुव राठी का और आम आदमी पार्टी का क्या कनेक्शन है ध्रुव राठी आम आदमी पार्टी का एक पाला हुआ कुत्ता है बेसिकली एंड दैट इज द रियलिटी क्योंकि वो पहले उन, उसकी करियर की शुरुआत उनके साथ ही हुई थी वेर इन ही टेक केयर ऑफ दोशल मीडिया एंड 
वीडियो एडिटिंग एंड ब्ला 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 और मैं आपको ये भी बता दूं कि काफी मैसेजेस अपने उसने ट्विटर और फेसबुक के ऊपर डिलीट किए हुए जहां पे ही इज कॉल्ड द एंटायर इस्लामिस्ट कम्युनिटी टेररिस्ट ये वो इंसान है जो पलटे खा के पैसे के लिए आज आम आदमी पार्टी के उस जगह पे घुसा हुआ है जहां पे दो गाल मिलते हैं और सूर्य की किरण जो है पहुंचती नहीं है अगर आप समझ गए हो कि वो स्थान क्या है तो आपको स्थान विशेष की काफी अच्छी जानकारी है वन मोर टाइम रिक्वेस्टिंग यू टू सपोर्ट हिम और हमें भी सपोर्ट करना शेयर दिस वीडियो एज मच एज यू कैन एंड पहली बार रिचोड़ी सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सपोर्ट बिल नोटिफिकेशन पे क्लिक करके बेल आइकन पे क्लिक करके नोटिफिकेशन ऑन करो आई एम गोइंग टू सी यू टमोरो काफी टाइम से लाइव नहीं किया था ये सेशन किया पर कल एक सेशन कर रहा हूँ मैं जहाँ पे मैं एक स्पेसिफिक बिल्डिंग में आग लगाने की बात करने वाला हूँ बिकॉज एक बिल्डिंग ऐसी है हिंदुस्तान के अंदर जिसके अंदर लिटरली आग लगाने की जरूरत है With a lot of facts, a lot of videos, a lot of screenshots, I will see you tomorrow at ten o'clock. आज समय देने के लिए धन्यवाद हरण महादेव जय श्री राम